welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. Um, I was tagged by Lisa from the channel Lisa's Paradise to do a 2017 Christmas tag. And she gave me um, 10 questions that she wanted me to answer. But before I get started, as you can see, I'm sitting here with all my friends. Um, I've been collecting Boyd's Bears since I first got married. And you know how it is when you start to collect things. Before you know it, everybody starts giving you bears. And now I have lots of bears. But this is a cute little sleigh that I have a lot of the bears in. And I have actually a family room that I call my Americana Bear Room. And it's all decorated in um, the Americana theme. And I have lots of bears and bear accessories. So anyway, I thought they'd make a cute little uh, Christmas um, video, having them in it. And this little bear that I'm holding, this bear is made out of my mother, who's in heaven. She passed away many years ago, but my mother had a mink coat. My father had given it to her when I think I was a teenager. When she passed away, I had this little mink coat didn't know what to do with it. My mother was very petite, didn't fit me, and I really wasn't into wearing, it was a mink jacket. And when we went down to Cape May, New Jersey, there was a place down there where this woman, woman made all bears out of coats. So this is, was all made out of my mother's mink coat. And what they did is, I think it's on, well, on the foot maybe, yep. On the foot was from the lining of the coat and it has my mother's name on it so I just thought I put this little girl in the picture with me so enough of that let's get started on the questions that Lisa's given me to do in the tag the first one is what is your favorite Christmas cartoon um, I like a lot of them you know my when my kids were growing up I watched them all with the kids but I have to say my favorite cartoon it's probably Frosty the Snowman. I like that one. Second question is, what do you like about Christmas? Oh, well, there's a lot I like about Christmas. I think the main thing I like about Christmas is when you look around, I don't know, everybody seems to be in such a good mood. They're all very generous to other people. They're kind. Um, they show a lot of compassion. It is really a beautiful time of the year. And I always say, I just wish people could be that way all year and not just at Christmas time. Um, and I love uh, when the family gets all together and it's just a joyous time of the year to celebrate the birth of Christ. So that's what I like about Christmas. The third question is, what do you like to eat? Turkey, ham, or duck? don't like duck at all. Ugh, no, that's not for me. And we always have turkey for Thanksgiving. So usually I make a nice spiral ham for Christmas. Um, that's usually what I do. But I'm Italian. We've gotten away over the years from having like five or six courses. We always had to start out with um, some kind of pasta. And then we would go on from there. You sat pretty much at the table most of the day. But I found as I got older, you eat all that pasta, and by the time all the main meal comes, you're not even hungry. So we did away with that. But, um, yeah, I usually make a ham. And uh, mm, going with it, my favorite, favorite thing on Christmas is the Italian stuffed artichokes. Oh yeah, with the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next question is number uh, four. My favorite Christmas song. Hmm. Um, I have a few. Um, it's hard to just pinpoint one. Uh, the cameraman and I did a couple's Christmas tag last Christmas. I'll um, put the link in the description box if you want to go and take a look at it. Um, we had fun doing it. And a couple of these questions were on the other tag. But I think um, when I was a kid, 
I loved the song. <laughs> I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Maybe I'm showing my age. You know that one? I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus <laughs> underneath the mistletoe last night. I know I'm cray cray, but that was one of my favorite songs growing up. I still like it. Um, I was singing it to my grandson not too long ago, and you know, he never heard of it. Um, I love the song, I'll Be Home for Christmas. I just think that's a beautiful song. It always makes me melancholy, but I, I think it's a pretty song, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Um, there's a lot of songs I like. I'm not going to name them all, but those are two that are special to me. Of course, the kids always tease me because now you have that other song, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. <laughs> So anyway, that's a cute one. Um, next question. What do you remember about Christmas as a child? Um, put your hand down. They weren't calling on you. Uh, Christmas as a child. I remember we always went to my grandmother's house on Christmas Eve. When my grandmother passed, we went to my aunt's house. And I always remember my brother and I driving there in the car. And my father had the radio on. And he had a station on the radio that was tracking where Santa was in the sky. And that was so exciting for us. Um, I love that, tracking where Santa was. And uh, we, when we got to um, my aunt's house, being Italian, they had like all the fishes on Christmas Eve. And I don't like fish. There's two or three fishes I will tolerate, but I didn't like the fish. But that was, that was a custom. And all the cousins there at midnight opened their gifts. And it was really a, a fun time. Um, things have changed, you know. My parents are gone. Uh, the families have moved in different directions. And the family's gotten smaller. So we make our own traditions. But there was nothing like the way we used to do it years ago. Uh, next question. Um, Six, what is your favorite Christmas dessert? Mmm, now you're talking to the baking diva here. <laughs> cannoli. Oh my God, cannolis. Keep the shells. Just give me a spoon and I'll eat the filling in the cannolis. Any kind of cannoli I like. We always make sure we have some cannolis on the table for dessert on Christmas. Uh, if you watch my videos, you'll know I love almond, the almond flavor. Any kind of cookies or pastries that have almond flavoring in them or almond paste, oh, I absolutely love them. And there's many, many more, you know, the big trays of the Italian pastries and different things. But I would have to say if I only had to name one, it would be the cannolis. What is your favorite Christmas drink? Well... It's not gonna be anything alcoholic. Unfortunately, I don't drink alcohol. I just don't. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me, but um, I always associate eggnog with Christmas and New Year's. New Year's Eve, my dad had his own special recipe for eggnog, and he used to whip it up, and the family would be together, and at midnight, we'd all make a toast with the eggnog. So I like to have a glass of eggnog here and there, but. I don't know if any of you have the same problem as me, but if you drink too much eggnog, you'd run to the bathroom. I'll leave it at that, okay? So everything in moderation. Let's see what's next. Um, what do you look forward to for Christmas? Um, I think I look forward to all my family getting together. There's nothing better than having the family all together to celebrate the day. Um, that's pretty much it. Everyone getting together and doing fun things. And this year, uh, my grandson came up with the idea, Kyle, that we should all wear Christmas pajamas for Christmas. So my daughter and her family is coming over, my son and his family, and we've arranged it so we're all going to have Christmas pajamas on. We're going to stay in the Christmas pajamas all day. And ever since my husband and I were married, and that's been 
many years ago, we still fill Christmas stockings for each other. So it's always fun. We put little things in them. It's always fun when we get up in the morning. Before all the company comes, we look and see what's in our stocking and we open our presents Christmas morning that, you know, we're giving to one another. And then have a nice cup of coffee and a little breakfast and then the madness starts because it's a lot of preparation when you're hosting a Christmas dinner. But um, I think it's mostly family that I look forward to being with. Next question. Where do you go for Christmas? Here. <laughs> I have been hosting Christmas Day for many, many years. We used to go to my mom's house. She always hosted it. And when she passed away, I took it over. So everybody comes here on Christmas and I host Christmas Day. I think this is number nine. Oh no, that was number nine. Last question. What does Christmas mean to you? Well, first of all, Christmas means the birth of Christ. Um, I think people lose sight of why we celebrate Christmas. Everybody is so busy running around and making out their lists on what the presents they want for Christmas, but I think some people actually forget what the holiday really means. And, um, you know, besides that, it means, like I said before, it means family. Um, I have a son and daughter who are grown. I have four beautiful grandsons, and it means family getting together. Um, it means decorating the tree, decorating your house, um, having special festive foods, um, just things like that. It's, I guess, love. That's what it is. So anyway, I hope you liked my little tags. I hope you enjoyed meeting my friends. Now I am going to tag two people in this video. I'll have their um, channel links in the description box below. And I'll also put Lisa from Lisa's Paradise, her link down there. She's the one that tagged me. And um, I wanna wish all of you a very, very Merry Christmas. Uh, if you can, and if you like my videos, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe to my channel. It's red, like the color of Christmas. And when you hit it, it turns gray and you're all subscribed. And if you ring the little bell next to it, hey, it might even be a silver bell. I liked that song when I was a kid. Silver bells. I was in a recital where I rang the bell. Silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city. Okay, you've had enough. Anyway, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. Ring the little bell so you get notifications. And I have more Christmas cookie recipes coming real soon. So... Once again, love you all. See you soon. Toodle!